Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rucker Films, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove the background from your videos. Now, once you've got Adobe After Effects open and you've got some footage imported, we can begin with the process. So when you import some footage into After Effects, it's really important that your footage has a subject. In my example, you can see I'm standing in the foreground against the sky, and obviously I'm gonna cut the sky out and I'm gonna leave myself in the foreground. I'm gonna leave that and cut the background out. So it's super important that you have a very clear subject. So we're just gonna click on the Roto Brush tool on the very top of After Effects, and then we'll double click the video. Now, as you can see, the cursor has turned into this green brush. And if we go over to the right-hand side of After Effects and press the Brushes tab, then we can change the diameter of the brush. So obviously we can increase this or we can decrease this, but I'm gonna keep this to around 18 pixels to begin. And once you're happy with that, you just want to make sure the cursor head is at the very beginning of the video. And then you just want to paint a green shape within the subjects that you want to keep. And as you can see, once you've done this, there will be this pink line generated around your subject. But if for some reason it doesn't do the best job, it cuts something out or it puts your background into your foreground, then all you have to do is press option on your keyboard. You want to hold this down and the brush will change from green to red. And then all you want to do is just paint over the unwanted area and all of a sudden that will disappear. Now, once you're happy with that, we just want to go ahead and we want to increase the area of examination. So as you can see, we've got this green bar just below the monitor and that is the length of the video. And then underneath this green bar, we have this gray bar and it's currently only around one quarter of the length of the green bar. You want to extend this all the way out to the very right and make sure this matches the same duration of the green bar because we want this effect to be applied for the entire duration of the clip. So we'll drag this over to the right and then we'll just press play on the keyboard and the computer is going to go ahead and analyze the footage. Just go through this process, make sure that you've got this perfect mask around your subject. And as soon as you've done that, you just want to go over to the composition comp one tab on the top of After Effects. And as you can see, the background has been removed. Of course, the edges are not completely perfect. It's a little bit rough around the edges. So we can increase the feather. We can increase or decrease the contrast. We can apply some shift edge or we can add some reduce clutter. And this should help to smooth out the edges of the subject. And there you go, essentially that is the effect now complete. We can go ahead and add a new background if we wanted to. So if we create a brand new solid, we'll go layer new solid. We'll change the color of this to white, let's say. And then we'll drag this underneath our original footage layer. You can see that the background has been perfectly replaced. Now the really awesome thing with this roto brush rotoscoping effect is this is very similar to footage that was shot on a green screen. When you shoot footage on a green screen, you can use chroma keying to remove the background, basically meaning you can add new backgrounds and new objects behind your subject. And that's the same process here. We've manually cut out the video using the rotor brush tool. And this means we can add backgrounds behind our subject. We can make clones of the subject so we can have multiple different versions of the subject. You can do whatever you like with this footage and it's completely up to you to be creative and really interpret this footage how you like. So there you go, that is the process of how you remove the background from your footage right inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.